Hello, welcome to Talk about Dropshipping Store Development Beginners to Experts. So in this lecture, we will see how we can make search engine optimization of our Shopify store in one lecture. So for SEO, the first thing you need to do is go to your online store. You want to connect your store with Google Search Console. Just uh, write Google Search Console insight uh, here in Google and you will be heading to search.google.com just open that and here you have to open edit code so these steps are required once you will do it you are basically connecting your Shopify with Google Search Console from where people will see your store in there inside Google Search Console just click on here and then click on add property and then here you can write uh, go to domain and then write the domain of your store for this you have to click on here if you are on file you won't be able to connect it because it needs access to your store so this can only be granted if you have that uh, password disabled and password can only be disabled if you don't have right plan so it's asking for remove the pass so we'll be going with url instead of this so once you click on copy you see it's verifying domain property and it's saying copy this thing make go with HTML tag we will be going with HTML tag just copy it and uh, you can make it inside the head section before the body section so we are in the edit theme go to theme.liquid and in the head before the body here you see inside the head just after the head here press enter and then paste the file you have copied already save it once you will save this HTML tag you will go back to here and click on verify once you click on verify you see ownership is verified done once it's done you can come here go to your Shopify store you see your Shopify is connected now after this just go to site maps and inside the map you can see you can write site map dot xml once you write it this is the default site map created by shopify for all shopify stores so it successfully submitted got it so once you clicking on overview then again on site map okay sometimes it gives you this error but uh, after a few times because our store is recently connected with google set console so after a few times it will be successfully connecting your store uh, sitemap here so the next step is to go to preferences for SEO optimization you have to go to preferences give a home page title this will be showing inside the search engines you can make Shopify dropshipping or Shopify jewelry like this don't make it higher uh, longer than 70 characters you can make custom you can make some description and here you can add image that will be showing to your search engines for your store developing Or you can just make it edit you can make a pop-up 1200 by 628 so here you see the next step is to inside the preferences to connect Google Analytics so we will be going to analytics so you will see how we can connect our shopper store so after getting paid advertisement for your Shopify store you want to track your visitors so Google Analytics is required 
to give more enhanced e-commerce. Uh, here you see enhanced e-commerce tracking for your shopper store. So go to analytics.google.com and in here it's opening. Once it's open. Just go to here. <coughs> okay, here you see <coughs> you can add a new property here. Okay, here we will go to platform home. Sorry, so we will be going here and inside the settings, inside the admins, you can make a create uh, inside the accounts, create a property, you can create property, and here you can give a name like our store name. Don't forget to buy your chopper plan from current URL. After free trials, so you can select country, and you can select the currency that is regarding to your store location and everything inside the show advanced options. Universal, create universal property, and inside here you can go for the link like this. Create university property only. Next and in here, industry. Inside the industry, you can go for shopping and then you can make it according to your customers. You can only uh, leave app installs and these things. Just click on create. Once you create it, you see you have now universal property created for your uh, shop first store. Just copy this thing from here. This UA tracking ID. Once you copy it, go to your shop first store, paste this here, click on save. Once you save it, you can use enhanced e commerce. Once you save it, go to analytics and then inside here you see click on user, click on save changes, and inside this uh, you see that in here on the right side in the e commerce setting you can on this e-commerce setup enable e-commerce reporting and then save you can also add funnels here once it's saved your shop file is getting enhanced e-commerce settings from google analytics and now uh, we are basically set up our seo things and now how the seo works first of all you have to go to products for all of your products you do, do one thing for seo because you are now getting links click from search engines people can search your products with the titles you need to search for high ranking keywords with more search volume and less competition so you can also use google keywords planner for this and then going back at the bottom click on this website as you here you will put the seo optimized keywords descriptions and then URLs and then you can click on save and your port all the products you have to do this for all the products to make products SEO optimized and then you can also make collections SEO optimized like every collection you have to make this thing SEO wherever you will see this thing SEO edit SEO you will have to edit it with proper keywords into it and then you will also need to make your pages SEO optimized like for every page you have to go to inside your pages and you will see it edit website SEO you can make it optimized according to 
high ranking keywords and in the blog post this is one of the important thing whenever you will create a new blog post you will see that uh, you can get targeted keywords inside SEO these keywords will be getting into the Google search console and it will be coming out to your store easily so we will also check if it's properly set up or not you will go to Google and you will write your Shopify store before linking to Google search console you will not see your Shopify store here So once you will search inside the Google Okay, you see it's not showing now This is because we have recently added it to here into our Google search console and uh, in order to check you need to do these things these are the latest things just coming and in here you have to click on here and in the real time once you click on it when somebody is uh, visiting your store you will see that uh, you have this real time users here with one here you see we have one active users now inside your store the live everything is working properly and uh, you can track you can track by traffic sources you can track it through location here you see direct and then you can track events audience overview then you can also set the audiences from where they are coming like country wise so this was the thing that in the location you see that um, where the user is coming from so once you will do it uh, you will also see your store inside the google don't worry about it please give it 48 hours after setting up these things so these are the must things to do seo optimization your store will be properly seo optimized after doing all these steps thanks for watching bye bye